Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So, last time was uh, a bit of an exception, I guess. We did not have a full session, but we did, at the very least, recruit Admiral Bobbery into our sailing party. And so now we're going to be able to show off. Um, so there's anyone who was here for the stream last week, there's going to be a little bit of repeat, but uh, not too, too much. So are you all ready for your uh, e epic voyage then? I shove off. Very well, to the sea! Raise anchor and set sails for thrills and emotion! And romance and money! Our next our destination is Dread Keelhaul Key! Wait up! I mean, just get on the boat, dude. Don't worry too much about it. Alright, so off we go. This is X not one here. Come back, dude. I mean, X not one here. Over. Roger, we need five by. Infiltration is successful. X not black aboard vessel. Repeat, X not black is on board the vessel. And so for real this time, we begin chapter 5, The Key to Pirates. One star, day XO. Over the protests of men of my crew, the SS Flavion has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Oh, I must scoff. Flavia will show them guts. One star day XX. Another day of good wind. White clouds, they dazzle me. It is as if as this it is as if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartily. Not star, day X note. Things are going smoothly, yet I'm filled with dread. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Go, Captain Caster's gaze, red jewel shines and plays. Boom, basa boom, festival. The Stash Brothers, best of friends, three three times red, red stash lands on his end. Blue stash belly four times as wet, so let's hear those fireworks go boom at the boom, basa boom festival. Yes, now we are talking. Flavia told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no. The island is right before our eyes, do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure! Oh, ho, ho, I feel fabulous! Shall I tell you one of my many tales of robbery? No, it is no trouble at all. There I was, locked in, dripped in deadly combat with a sea serpent. Yes, even then I smiled, but I knew I could be. Great, he started again. The tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. There's no word to escape to. We'll just have to listen until he's finished. Yeah, if you interrupt him mid-story, he absolutely loses it too. The why is the what? Hey, what's going on here? The ship's stopping. Oi, Master Flavio! Awfully sorry to interrupt that wicked story. The ship stopped. Stop, you say to me, after interrupting a story of passion and fury. It is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Hmm? So take care of it. 
Oh, I, I flame you. I'll get on it right quick. Wait a tick. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait, Goomba, stop a moment, you scallywags. Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving. Uh, ah! Uh, yeah. What is this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what is going on? Upon us, <laughs> pirate ghosts. All the rumors were true. Uh, uh, what do we do? We gotta get out of here. Uh, do not panic yourselves. This is just a dream that we are all having. Awake now, quickly move the boat. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ghostly winged thing! Are you really the savage pirate king? Hey, help me! Buck up now, everyone! Remain civilized! Relax, don't panic! Relax, relax, relax! I say you say you must take it easy! Uh, what? Ah! Excuse me if I listen to anyone, if I learn the phone goes like. Forget that, make a path! Bobbery, look alive, man! Ah, we must get out of here! Abandon ship! Every rich, marvelous merchant for himself! Well, not like we have a choice at this point. The ship has abandoned us. Monstar de Xstar. Fortune from disaster. Can the sea washed us ashore? What strange irony that this island was the intended destination all along, no? And yet we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bobbery. It pains me to think that they were taken by the pirate king, that ghostly thing. What happens to us now, huh? We may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. One star, Dex Heart. We may have made, uh, we have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's flotsam washed in, and now we have salty bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on the salty bounty of the sea, but then what I ask? One star, Day O O. We have built a few huts and washed up timbers. Ah, poor sweet Nessus Lathamian. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. I still have had no sign of Bobbery and the others. In my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Not star, day O X. Three days on the isle now, and the huts are all finished. We have carved a life out here, but we all dream of your return to Rockport. Oi, Captain Stash! Ain't much, but we finished a wee hunt for your rest. Come have a look. There we go, back in control. And yes, at this point, we are stuck on Keel All Key. Is that right? A wacka wacka. Oh, a lump of something replenishes twenty five HP and FP. That's kind of amazing. 
we're probably going to need this for something. Captain, please help us! Flavia and Papatch are in a huge fight! And what about you, Squinty? You turned to jelly when you saw all those ghosts! What are you talking about? You're the one quaking his boots, fancy pants! Wait, wait one moment. Did you just call the great Flavio Fancy Pants? That's right, Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants, Fancy Pants. Why, you little cyclops, that you demand satisfaction. You, me, hammers, I don't. Oh, that's right, fine by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy threads. They're here! Captain, Captain Stash, them ghosts are back! Mario! Front and center! This is an order! Take care of those ghosts! Mini boss music, okay. Was casually starting this chapter with a mini boss. Alright. Well, let's start with Rainia Goombella. And, um. That's an ember. Sort of a pale foot. Ah. Turn with uh, pale blue flame spirit. Kind of spooky. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 0. Of course, since this thing is a flame, touching it will hurt. Didn't Mama teach you that? Looks like it's susceptible to ice or explosive attacks, though, so that's something. If you get hit by a flame attack, you'll catch fire, so try guard well. Uh, so now, let's swap you out for troops. So what I'm getting is... Jumping on this thing is not going to be doing good. Ow. Okay, the, uh, the timing on these guys is a little weird. So PowerShell should still work. Yeah, the timing is super. Like I'm trying to get it down, but it's just not working. Out. So I'm going to switch to um uh, to video. Yes, video. Apparently. <laughs> Let's see if we can fight fire with fire. Poor fight, but uh, we made it through. Yes, you're a blooming beast, Captain Stash. Too early to celebrate, no? There are surely more of them elsewhere, huh? Someone must investigate the rest of this island. Yes, that is what must be. As leader of this expedition, I, of course, should stay here. On this, I broke no argument. Ah yes, of course. Mario, perhaps you could uh, handle the exploration of this island? Uh, fine. Ah, 
that is my boy. I knew we could go forth with... Ah, I knew you would go forth with boldness. We count upon you. Yeah, sure you do. Uh, we took a fair amount of damage from that, so... um. Probably a good idea to rest up. Okay. Oh, we got in this shop. It's kind of neat that uh, we can just see the shop from outside. Nothing particularly interesting there, though. Apologies. It's a different type of fuzzy, fuzzy here. Green fuzzy, as you can see, it's a fuzzy and it's green. Duh! Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 0. This is similar to a normal fuzzy, so it replenishes its own HP as it sucks out ours. Ew, it's just the grossest thing ever! If you don't find that idea gross seriously, there's something wrong with you. The main difference between this and other fuzzy is that this one multiplies. You know, I bet this thing would look great sitting next to a gold fuzzy. Probably. Oh great. It's starting off with that. Oh we got four of them. Fantastic. Well. We got a random full audience there. That, ooh! Even better. Head Rattle! Execute superbly to confuse enemies. Might also not be a bad idea to put in with, uh, Ms. Maz here. Got it with the spin jump. I think we got the pink the pink one already. Yeah. <laughs> Complete whiff because of the fog. But yeah, going with Ms. Mouse here because uh, that way we can try to avoid 
coming back to um, kill a hall key later on. Hit the, hit the tree, Mario. I guess you can't. Oh, geez. That's a new one, though. That's a putrid piranha. It's a poisonous piranha plant. That color is totally sickly. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 0. It bites and it attacks with a super rank poison breath. Breath mint, table 4. If you get poisoned, your HP will suddenly go down, so, you know, try not to. Good advice. Jump ain't gonna work. What a shame, I was going to use those points on a power, a power shell. You know what, I'm going to deal with you in the back. Oh. Probably not the best time to hit this, but okay. Yeah, that was uh, just slightly overkill. Nine turns? Boy, oh boy. No bingo. Well, it won't be nine turns if uh, the battle doesn't last that long. using our own flower points against us. Hmm. 
sweet treat, so I guess in order for losing all of those flower points. One. There it is. Oh. Pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. Oh boy, they just keep on coming. The years start coming and don't stop coming and don't stop coming and don't stop coming. At least we're getting a lot of star points out of this. Enough, in fact. To get a level up. And I guess this one's gonna be my pick. Um, I go with BP. Also interesting, like you can see her idle animation changes when you're close to treasure. something right near us. Well, we are going to need Omelette. Gotta cross that first. And in fact, we're going to need Omelette again. things that we left behind, honestly. These cursed ghosts blast it all! Why 
blubbery blotches. Is that Mario over there? You're alive, old boy. Right, you did. He came just in the nick of time. Get these two out of here this instant. Huh? But what about you, Admiral? Oh, huh? But what about you, Admiral? We gotta get out of here too. Just leave it to me, eh? I'll keep this, these ghouls busy while you get out of here. Flee, that's an order. Let me do what I must do. Now away with you! Ah. The Bobbery here thinks it's the right thing to do. So what are we waiting for? No, oh, Bobbery, please forgive our cowardice. We have been left you and everything was happening so quickly. Forgive us! Yes, thank you, phone. You are a phone. Doing your job. Now stop doing your job. <laughs> Gone, eh? Excuse me, but I'll better be going also. And hey, you! Out there in front of the TV. Um, I guess I technically am in front of a TV, but the TV is over there now. Thing up. Anyway. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Maybe pretty obvious to you who I really am, but no telling Mario. Or else. You out there in front of the TV? I think that man might have the C minus. Death. I mean, that's not going to be productive either. God dang it. Okay, let's do this the right way. One hundred percent, we're gonna need this code. Possibly also this code. Can we make it over there? me for items here. There's still something here. Oh wait. What if? interesting because Ms. Mouse is definitely smelling something just a what which one is Gilligan um, you know what? it's been a very long time since I have uh, seen any of Gilligan's Island I could Probably not answer that question uh, accurately. 
Also, hello. Hope you're doing well today, Tyrion. I get this. I want it. Unless I have to go here. Nope. That's not it. Okay, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is how a sea, how the sea. So this is how a legend of the sea meets his end, eh? I'm just gonna continuously. Oh, I did not want to jump on that. Beating the classic Mega Man's and or Mega Men that uh, you had unbeaten. Good times. Fire, fire does indeed hurt. I wonder if Madame Flurry can attack. Cause she's impervious to most things. No. Okay. The timing for these guys continues to be. Mario's on fire. But I think the only other attacker that I have in that case is probably going to be Oops. Our defense is going up for this turn. have been dealt with. Oh, the pivotal! Oh, Mario oh boy. Uh, <coughs> I guess those blokes got me a bit better than I thought. Mario, please hear my last request. I must thank you to, for taking me out to sea one last time. There is one thing I need to go before I rest. And before I go to my rest, Chocola Cola. Saving that one bottle, my last memory of Scarlet. To celebrate reaching here. I saw it among the flocks and drifted toward the island, so it must be somewhere. I may just have one sip before my final voyage. <coughs> <coughs> Get me that chocolate cola, old boy. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that the chocolate cola is this thing right here. And I just realized how to get it. Ta da! No, that's ice power. That's a badge. Make Mario damage proof when jumping on fire enemies. Oh, that would have been useful just the last battle. Um. 
There we go. Anyway, maybe Ms. Mouse can help us find this chocolate cola. Briefly does half damage to all foes who attack directly. Interesting. Probably gonna be useful for the rest of the chapter. That's what I'm hoping. That's why I've equipped it. So it occurs to me that if it was part of the wreckage, it might actually be back at the start. Nothing here. I still have no idea what you're looking at. Oh geez. Okay, enemies have come back. Good to know. How's it going? Good to see you around. Got the stylish. No being Enemy whiffs. That's always good. That's an actual water pool. At least that took us in the right direction. Is there any treasure on this map? Right nearby. Aha! There is something else. this way. Ah. Anything else? Nope. There is something here. But the most likely place for is right here.
I'm gonna go store some items, actually. Because I'm kind of full on stuff. be enough room for now. Hopefully at some point we can get around this limitation of 10 items. Surely there is something that will help us with this. Anyway, maybe one of these people knows. Ah, you are still alive! Well, we have some fortune of such relief for Flavio. I thought some jungle beast was snacking on you. Well, everyone is, account is accounted for. Now, wait one moment, or am I wrong, or are we still miss Are we still one man short? And that's right. Bob re-sacrificed himself to save us from the ghosts. Please, we gotta go back and help him. What lunacy burst forth from your mouth? The Admiral lives? What fortitude? Mario, front and center. I entrust you with the mission to save our dear Admiral. Huh? What is that you say? Chocolate cola? Well, why would I have that? But, uh, yes, by the way, if that was merely curious, what do you need it for? What now? The Admiral may soon perish? And he wants to drink it as his last wish? Ah, so what we are dealing with here is a sort of last request, am I correct? Well, Lavio has no choice. I found it on the beach, but for this noble cause, I yield. However, this chocolate cola is part of my, I mean, our supplies, which we need to survive. So I will need you to find something to eat to replace this. On this, I do not budge. Hmm, yes, I am sure there is something on this island that would be a suitable replacement. Oh, you mean the coconuts that I found that I just stored? I probably need both. So, what will you give me in exchange for this delectable chocolate cola? Hmm? Make it good. I am the editor of Foppish Gourmet Weekly, so I know my delicacies. Aha! A coconut, is it not? Well, that is island fair, but somewhat cliché. Ah, well, perhaps I had set my hopes too high for forging non gourmet such as you. Well, here you go. Check, take the chocolate claw and give my regards to the Admiral. Flavio's treasured beverage actually is bombless. Tell him to waft the bouquet, swizzle it gently, and savor all of the fine fizziness. Sure thing. I guess I only need the one, though. I think I could also have given him the whack a bomb. I don't know if that would have um, offered an additional prize. I was kind of looking away and I saw the backdrop starting to fall and I was just like, hit B and hope for the best. And just wouldn't you know it, the best happened.
Well, I jumped on the berries. It looks spiky, but it uh, doesn't count as a spiky thing. So, good enough. Alright, now you're not going to be able to do any damage. Um, Still poops. Yeah, this is Mario, but it's Scoops. As long as it doesn't miss, which it did. Complete with there. And finishing with a full audience, perhaps a little puny, but um, a, a large, small audience. Dang. This time. Do, do it right. Distinctive bouquet. You you brought it? <sighs> this glorious flavor, dear boy, it awakens the mouth. The sea was generous enough to deliver me this one last great say. I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting me my last wish. I shall be reunited with my dear Scarlet. Uh, well, Captain. Hey, Gonzalez! I think maybe Bobbery's just sleeping. Yeah, he is. Here I was getting all choked up. Give him a wake up whack. What? What? Yubbity yubbity! Pirates! What are those pirates? Not quite with it yet, huh? What? No! Oh, Mario, old boy, it's you! You have adventures in the afterlife as well? Capsule! Hey, you're still alive in that case! Ah, hmm. Yes, well, really? This isn't the tropical, uh, tropical paradise for fallen sailors? Oh, right. Now I recall, Mario, old boy, we still have work to do. You'd better take me with you, I should say. I am sure my sea legs and explosive personality will be rather useful, eh? You sure will, Barbary. Welcome to the team. Barbary's abilities, the primer. Press X to make Mario throw Barbary, who will then walk a few steps and explode. Use Bobber's explosion to blast cracks open, destroy walls, and activate switches. You can even throw him onto ledges above you. In battle, he can detonate on ground-bound enemies, 
Or if you like, you can use you can use this bomb squad. Uh, and you can use his bomb squad. Time bombs that explode one turn later. There we go. So new party member. in one of the eyes where you can conceivably place something. Remember that um, uh, Admiral Flavio was talking about green stash and blue stash? I wonder if that means something. Filling out. Yeah, I... I don't know, I seem to recall Bobbery being pretty late in the game. I didn't recall how late. I mean, now we know. So I'm wondering if maybe Bobbery has something to do with this trip. Maybe it's just physically behind something? No. Force Bobbery to explode by uh, pressing the X button again. Yeah, I have no idea what is pointing us out there, but uh, Ms. Mouse is pointing us out of it. Um, let's start with a power smash. Why not? Oh. Oops. We have to figure out how that attack works. A and release when I gotcha. Okay. That wasn't so hard. It was just a matter of reading the instructions. Except I can't really defend against that. I feel like I'm probably going to have to take both of them out in one turn. It's not quite going to do it, but that's going to be close enough. Welcome back to you! You know how worried we were. My stomach has been most upset. 
I must worry about everyone here, for who worries for Flavio? Uh, but who worries for Flavio? No one. Do you know how hard that is for me? To sit here in safety and worry so much. I do not know what is out there, waiting to lurch in, to lurch in and snack upon me. We do not even know how to get home, for the sake of the blue briny sea. But, no more yelling. Now is the time to pull together and work as a team. Love you, old boy. I must say, you, ra you talk rather too much. Such insolence! Ugh. I growl at you like an angry jungle beast I ought to. So in any case, Mario, about that crystal star you spoke of earlier. There was a rather odd rock in the far east of the jungle with a skull carved into it. Called an old sea bomb's intuition, but the skull rock smells suspicious. <laughs> hey, Barbary. You wanna know what really smells suspicious? Not your long bit. Oh, it smells like low tide! <laughs> but seriously, you may be on something with that skull rock. I say that's where the treasure is. Well, anyone could figure that out, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious! I was already saying in my head that the treasure is almost certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue the noble duty of protecting the scamp from invasion. Captain Mario, carry on. I'm sorry to make so many requests, but you know... Love you, old cash grubber. If you want treasure, why don't you go get it yourself? Oh, well, uh, yes, Admiral, you see, I... Hmm. Oh, yes, you, you have a point. Let us decide this fan square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go along to investigate this slow rock? Oh, heck yes. Yeah, take it, please. Yeah, find it. Huck, blah, 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 blah. There you have it, Flavio. Fan square, eh, what? Uh, no, not fair. Flavio hates you all. Flavio will join you for a short time. If you think he's going to participate in combat, mm, you're sorely mistaken. But he will, however, jump on Mario's back, jumping on Omelette's back. This looks absolutely ridiculous. So again, how old is um, is Omelet at this point? Maybe like a month. Providing us with the most whimsical child of use. Oh dear. Yoshi is don't necessarily need to learn how to walk. Although Super Mario World would uh, have us believe otherwise. Or Yoshi can't so much as move until you feed it. Is all this? 
A dead hen taunting Flavio with its dead endness. But hmm, is this? I think this is the skull rock Bobby Bob is about. Well, it positively reeks of ancient secrets, yes? How this plunge into this puzzle? Skull Captain Cass's gaze, red jewel shines and plays, boom basa boom pe festival. The Stash Brothers, best of friends, three times red stash lands on his end. Blue Stash's belly four times is whacked. So let's hear where those fireworks go boom at the boom basa boom festival. I'm just singing to while away the time, it's not like that you're scared or anything. But you know something? I've never been able to know that song's meaning. Three times red stash. Hands on his end. Four times four times blue stash. Belly is whacked. Let's hear those fireworks. Go boom! Didn't do anything. Three times rose stash, one lands on his end. Blue stash's belly four times is whacked. Yeah, and that's what I did. I've got a feeling that Flavio's gem might fit in that eye hole. What is it you ask of me? You want Flavio to lend you something, is this correct? Now what could I possibly have that uh, that you would need with such anxiousness? Okay, I need that gem of yours. What? You want me to lend you the skull gem? You really, really need it? This is the heir of the house of Flavio, you know. But I suppose it is alright, because I am Flavio here. Such a ludicrous wealth. wealth. I'm just lending it, though. Do not dare run off with it. Do not make me dock pay. Hey, Zuzio. There we go. Times red stash hands on his end. Four times blue stash his belly is whacked. So let's hear those fireworks go boom. Such excitement! The cave entrance! Huh? Huh? What? Ah, uh, my skull gem! Uh, Mario, what were you thinking? That gem was a part of the house of Flavio! Ah! Huh. Oh, what a happy day! I have my skull, jack, uh, my skull gem back! My jolliness has no end! Now then, I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now. I cannot let those back at camp worry about me further, you two understand, yes? So let me know when you found that glittery treasure, alright? <laughs> Front star day circle note. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers enter the cave. Will they actually find the Pirate King's treasure? I tremble with anticipation. Uh, so let's switch back to his map. There's something here. Well, 
This way. Very close. There it is. Anything else? Nope. Uh, as always, Zuzia, if you are feeling up to it, uh, the the voice chat is open and. I shouldn't have I shouldn't end up having a meltdown this time. I think everything is working correctly. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Boing. All right, fair enough. <laughs> and unfortunately, we don't know anything about this. So, let's go ahead and check the title book. That's a lava bottle. It's a flame spirit. Max HP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Its HP and attack power may be different from an ember's, but otherwise it's the same. Since it is made of fire, try not to touch it because it'll burn you. Apparently it's vulnerable to explosions and ice attacks. Fine, if you get hit by a flame attack, you might catch fire, so guard well. And of course, we got that badge. So I should be able to just do this. Shall hopefully that will do it. Yep. Twenty big star points for that. And they can bank. Oh yeah, I do see a right here. Oh. oh wait, no, that did work. Dang. Down there. How do I get there? Ah, friggin'. That was analog bounce. There we go. Okay. Then they can just do this. That's cool. I did absolutely no damage there. So let's check what its uh, defense is.
As a Bill Blaster, it's a cannon that shoots bullet bills. Nice HP is 5, defense is 2. It doesn't attack directly, but shoots bullet bills at you. And then the bill bills are annoying, but take the bill blaster for uh, take out the bill blaster first. Trust me. Ah, how many of those things will shoot at us? You're so annoying. That's a bullet bill, and it attacks after being shot from a bullet blaster. Max HP is 2, attack is 4, and defense is 1. Take care of it quickly or it'll totally wail into you mosh pit style. Use those action commands and take it out. No big Bella taking it like a champ there. Oh, that worked out pretty well, though. Oops, got knocked down, but uh, that was the last attack of the round, so we're good. The only thing that we're not good about is that was one star point away from a level up. here that raises the sleeve state. You will need a handle to move the wrench. Oh geez, you're an enemy. I don't know why I thought I could talk to you. That's a bulky bob -omb. I think it's like other bob -ombs, but it's huge. Max HP is 6, attack is 2, and defense is 1. It's weird, it never attacks for us, it's fuses lit, it'll blow up on its own eventually. I don't, mind it, I don't mind taking itself out of the battle, but that explosion hurts us too. Oh, when it powers up, that attack power is 8, so watch out. Fire and explosion light its fuse, so I guess setting it off early is one strategy. You can run too, but if you're gonna fight, beat it before it goes off. Nothing. It's probably not going to be enough to take out the one on the back. And it's especially not going to be enough if I miss the timing. Wow. It's a waste of those flower things. Oh. Oh, that defense boost is no bueno. Even Batchers did too. Who hits hard? Not hard enough.
Or I just freeze everyone, I guess. Uh, so the defense boost is gone. There we go. Ow. You know what, it's fine. We, we've made it through a battle. And into a level. So what are we leveling up this time? Last time, uh, since it was just me, I leveled up the heat. We have 30 HP, 20 FP, 18 BP. Everything is fine. I mean, yeah, exactly. Materian saying HP. Hmm. Alright, so HP or FP, and I don't think anyone else is in chat, so those are my options. Um. I guess given that, I'll go with FP. Once again, these are safe for Mario. Jump on. Oh, and I even got the spin. I didn't realize. Alright. One turn. Sweet. Also, our audience has filled up pretty well here. I guess that's how you get that. Also, since we didn't get the chance to identify these um, in chapter 4, uh, now's our chance now. Start with a pair of buzzies since uh, that's a very ephemeral state. That's a Parabuzzy! A Buzzy Beetle with wings! Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4! I guess those stats are just like a Buzzy. Fire and explosions seem to have no effect, so don't bother, okay? If you flip it over, its defense goes down to 0, so jump on it first. I meant to actually check before um, attacking the audience member, but uh, as it turned out, it was a valid concern. Bobbery might be able to get up there. Yes, he is. Ooh, turn back. Ooh, go no further, or you will never leave. Also, before I forget. Yes. 
See, that's part of the problem with, uh... With Ms. Mouse's, uh, treasure location. She will face in the direction of the treasure. But you get no bearing as to, like... On the depth axis, I guess the Z axis, where the treasure actually is. Oh. So there does seem to be something behind that, uh. behind that waterfall, if we can make it anywhere behind that waterfall. Unfortunately, that's not how waterfalls work. I know these things. I'm a professional. Y'all know that. Nothing ever goes wrong in my stream. Oh no, why did the shutdown screen come up? Oh jeez. That's one way to do it. It's very close. Where could it be? hidden um, caution blocks. It's very close to here. But where? Now, why did you jump in the water just now? this align? Down here? Yes. So I'm going to assume that this switch probably There's something we can get. On the other side of this. <laughs> Coops, please. You saw that, didn't you? I'm getting a lot of these. Too bad we don't have access to anywhere to, uh, to anywhere to use them right now. We're gonna have to find a ship off this island.
And now we need to find the locked door. And I think that door down there is locked. Sure enough. I wonder if... Can you, can you use Bobbery? I think so. Because we struck first there. I mean, that wasn't a good hit, but that was a hit. idea here is going to be to bring out poops and capture. This is not the right time to increase my defense. Nobody is going to attack us. Actually, let's call in Goombella to finish the job. See, Goombella has her, her uh, combat uses. Now... If I were to bomb a wall here... A little grasping at straws, a little uh, used to how The Legend of Zelda works. Another shine spray. My my, how are we ever going to... Uh... Oh right. Also, I'm not supposed to stop that, uh, that hard. Interesting. Maybe it's because I was, like, right up against the wall. Another one? But how did I get it? Dang. Ah, oh, come on, game. Be nice. Oh! Don't have unlimited hits here, game. There we go. Sure, if my chat is working on stream, I was testing it earlier. Wow, six shine sprites. I've refreshed it. So if it if it wasn't working, hopefully it should be now. I've checked that the, the client is running. Thank you. 
Also notice that those uh, big uh, pink bob are in the audience now. Um, they take up two seats, by the way. And they have an additional uh, nasty surprise. Which at some point we might end up seeing. Why did you go out of paper mode? I was holding down our game. Well, doing a normal jump on it isn't going to help. Okay, but spin jump did actually do a point of damage. Which was just enough. Uh, is this gonna do anything? Yeah, okay. I was solidly holding down R. Like, unless I was before, like, sidestepping them somehow? Is that what was happening? Just being entirely lucky and just... totally avoiding their, uh, hitbox? I pressed the right button, but that was a whiff because of the fog. Yeah. 
boink. Oh, really? Okay. Well, for sure, you only have one health left. And I have no health. deal with this fight immediately. Okay, maybe that wasn't worth it. But hey, 20 star things. That's not nothing. Okay, there's a lot of these things. Dang. Power down, defense up. Drops the damage Mario deals and receives by one. Let's see, anything else in this room? Well, if you say so, let's address the elephant in the room. You're... Oh, sweet, sweet salvation. I thought no one would ever come. I had given up. What's that? Spare you to prologue and just curse you already? Now, how did you know I was going to do that? No, seriously, hang on a sec. Can't you just listen to my spiel for a little bit? I've been locked here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing but practice the speech. Huh? I'm already fourth cursing just you've met? Are you serious? So you're saying you know exactly how this is all going to Now talk about it, all of you. You're a twisted little guy, you know that? Okay, fine, 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 fine. Get the picture, okay? Hey, I just... All I wanted was to see a face of some unlucky soul when I popped up. That's so much to ask? No. Well, anyway, what are you waiting for? Just open it. You know what the key looks like, Mr. Seen it all already? Some ghost here has it. So just beat him, get it out, uh, get it, and we'll get this far so come on now, I'm waiting. I'm not sure how that counted, but okay. Counted as a regular jump. Listen, at this, at this point, Tyrion, Mario's just tired of all this crap and wants to rescue the princess again. Come on, bingo. No, that would have been a really good one. I feel like if you jump on an enemy you're not supposed to be able to jump on, it actually does extra damage. Yeah, yeah, whoop did you You got the key. Party time. Now let's... Now, now let me go. Alright, here we go, since we're just itching to get this over with. <coughs> Wee -hee -hee -hee. Fools! You dopes fell right into my absolutely brilliant trap, and now you will suffer. Oh yeah, I'm so evil, bathed in foul, awful... Wait, what was next? Oh yeah, you fools be cursed forever, you appalling stupidity. You'll rue today, you'll open this chest of doom. Now, you wretched guy, 
Be cursed! Double deuce! Wee -hee -hee -hee. Now you're cursed, but good. Suffer, suffer, suffer. Wait, maybe that's too much. Are you alright? It didn't really hurt, did it? Wee -hee -hee -hee. Good. Squirm and suffer like socially awkward words. From now on, in certain places, if you press Y, you'll turn into a paper boat. Isn't that just gruesome? Let's try it out so I can see the depth of your humiliation. Feel the terror of your fate. When you stand on one of these boat panels, the, boat, the panel will feel your curse and glow. Yes, yeah, stand here, slime. Feel the pain. Press Y. Become a paper boat. Mario looks like he's legitimately worried about something. No, he's just turning into a paper boat. <laughs> oh yeah, such suffering. You feel the horror? Now you're a penalty level boat. <laughs> you float onto water. People will laugh at you. You'll be spit upon. But it only works in certain places, so don't worry. It's not too bad. When you want to return to normal, approach the pen and press Y. Now try it, worm. Yes, your pain is like a tasty banquet to me. Now, do you understand your doom? Yeah, I get it. Enough with you, you jaded, cursed boat guy. Oh, and hey, this thanks for letting me do my thing. I feel better. Um, you think that guy in the chest is actually on our side? An interesting uh, theory you have there, Coops. And uh, I'm sure there will be a lot of boating in our future. But that's going to have to wait until after the break. So, it is that time of the stream where you can go get a drink, uh, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we're going boating. So, see you in a bit.